Good morning, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Rayleigh's Small Engines. Today we're going to be working on this Generac pressure washer. Uh, 3,100 PSI. Anyway, um, customer says it won't run. Well, I pulled the cord. Feels like it's got compression. Pulled the gas cap off. Ooh, it stinks. So, next step... I checked the oil and watch what's going to happen here. Watch this. See that? Carburetor. All right. So we're going to pop this carburetor off. Hopefully right quick. You can see how close quarters that frame is. So let's see what's going on. Okay. Already, I just laid it up on the bench and all I've done Let's move the throttle. I can feel it's stiff. Actually, the more I move it, the easier it gets. So, let's see what's inside. I have not pulled this apart yet. This is first hand. I think it's a little nasty. So, what's going on? You can feel how tight that is. Just old gas sitting up. So let's see if we can get this puppy apart. Maybe. can rescue this one or not, but we're sure going to try. I knew y'all wanted to see another carburetor clean. I'll get this jet out, goodness sakes. a little bit nasty there huh I'm get it to focus anyway moving on now we want to get the emulsion tube out put your screwdriver in here and it's right down in the center of that hole This one's going to come out, folks. It is stuck in there. All right, I'm not going to bore you with that. Give me a minute. Let's see if I can get it out. As soon as I shut the camera off, I don't want to bore you with that. I popped it right out. I took my needle nose. It went in like this, got on the top, and it finally it snapped loose. And it is nasty, completely stopped up. So we're going to let's take a little jet out. And um, when you're taking these screws out, there's usually only a, I don't know, an eighth of an inch sticking out. It's not that critical. That's your idle. Not that critical. Don't worry about it. Get a few threads. Get it approximately back where it was. If you need to adjust it, you can do it after it's back on the machine. Yep, that's stopped up too. Let's drop this puppy in the sonic cleaner and maybe we'll get lucky. We're also going to have to clean out that fuel tank. So I'm going to have to drain that nasty fuel, stink up the shop. And uh, let's get that done and I'll be right back with you. Well, y'all yeah, might as well watch this too. Got the sonic cleaner plugged in. Mixture of purple stuff and water. Yeah, I know it'll leave a film if you leave it in there too long. And then it start warming up. We're gonna put our little parts. Just drop it all in here. Carburetor. 
separator. I, I have a little screen and an old coffee can to drill some holes in for the drain. All right, we're going to pull this tank. Um, it'll be easier to clean with it off the machine. If you look, not that screw, that screw right there is 8 millimeter. I'm going to buzz it loose. And then on this side, there are two screws or nuts. There's one there and then one right there. We'll pop those off. I'm going to take this off and... Um, we'll just remove this tank and get it clean. Instead of using the gun pack, just because somebody I know on here uh, will say they don't like those impacts. They want to do it all by hand. But so I'm going to do it by hand just to make them happy. Long enough extension pump. All right, we got a new tool. It's called a bore scope snake camera. I don't know. We're going to try it out. I charged it up. I've only used it once. So we're going to take a look down in this fuel tank and see what we can see. See if that thing actually works. I've seen a couple that hooks up to your camera. They were $20, and I said, well, what are you going to get for 20 bucks? So I don't know. Um, I hope you guys can see. Let's see if I can get it in here when we can see. There's the inside of that tank. Pretty nasty. My first time using this, so bear with me. I think I can actually... Oh, let's get down in here. I think I can actually download some of this stuff. We'll see how much of that we can clean up. I hope you guys can see that. Alright, let's get this thing cleaned up. No playing with the toys. Alright, sorry about the noise. I'm going to see if I can play this for you guys because I don't know how to download it to the computer. So, this is a little side of the inside. Look at that screen in there. And we're going to see if uh, hopefully we can get some of that cleaned out. Alright. I tried to get this loose with a wrench. It's 12 millimeter. Get the screen out. It does not want to budge. It's going to strip out. And it is plastic. So what we're going to do, we're going to back flush through that screen and then we'll take the cap off, blow some air, and I'm just going to back flush it with some brake cleaner. Hopefully, not get it everywhere. It'll stop slam. I see it's still coming out right there. We're going to have to see if we can get that thing out. If it breaks, it breaks. So instead of the rent, well, let's try the box inside. Uh-oh, we're getting lucky.
That's extra ever. Y'all hold on. Oh, it's been 30 minutes, guys. We might have a clean carburetor over there. You never know, huh? Let's see. Well, there is a rubber washer right there. Screen looks pretty nasty. <laughs> All right. Hey, who wants to see what that car butter looks like? See if I can get you over here. I'm just going to keep playing. I'll just watch it live. I don't have a fancy stand for this thing. So a couple of welding rods. Hope y'all can hear me. I forgot to put my doggone mic on. Looks a little better. Most of that will come right on off. We'll break cleaner and air hose. Bow. Almost 30 minutes. Now we're going to have to clean this up by hand with the wire and all that. And along with this jet too. But that's okay. I'll be right back with you guys. Yep, still cleaning. Just ran my wires through and I'm going to hold my finger over the end. Pinch this side. And let's watch all the little holes. Plenty of flow through there now. Well, this is the screen supposedly out of the tank. See all those pieces there. There's no screen left, so we're just going to put a new one in. Yes, a little different, but it will work. We got to get this customer done. No piece of sheet, towel, whatever. Screwdriver. Just cram it down in there. Don't worry. About it. Swish this thing around. Take it back out. Rinse it. Do it again. And do it again. And do it again. We do have a filter, so it should be okay. This is one of our commercial guys, and he says he got to have it yesterday. So we're going to do what we can. So I'll keep working on this, and I'll be right back. Getting there. Vaseline always a good tool to have around. One reason I'm doing that is so when I tighten this down, this washer won't be binding in any way. Uh oh, hose is stopped up. What kind of boogers is in there? That ain't stopped up. Y'all won't go to sleep. Let's get this thing put back together and get it on the machine. Well, they say show bloopers, so <laughs> I go to put the carburetor on. I just tightened the tank down. If you look up under there where my throttle rod's at, so now I had to pull the tank back off and get my throttle shaft out. All right, so we're going to try this thing out in a real world application here. We know it's over full. Got our air hose ready. It's going to be noisy, 
and that oil is going to drain because it's over full. We're going to see how much this thing will actually catch and get some of it out of there for us. All right, here we go. Working like a charm. Watch how fast now. And this thing was way over full. It's already drained that machine. Hope you guys enjoy that. There's going to be a video coming out with this machine in. I'm still working on. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe. Ha <laughs> ha. And y'all thought Jiffy Lube was fast. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, folks. A little bit of gas. Got our water on. Got the switch on. Choke on. Maybe it'll run. Thanks for watching, folks. Click that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment.